show was supposed to feel. When he lay down that night, he thought he was laying with rich. Woke up the next morning, found it was Leah. Rachel's older sister. Jacob asked, Uncle Laban, why did you deceive me? Uncle Laban said, well, it wasn't right to give the younger girl before you give the older girl. He said, but I tell you what, give me, give me seven more years of service. I'll give you the one you want. And the Bible says, Jacob worked another seven years and it seemed like a few days because of the love he had for that girl. Amen. Well, the Lord saw that Leah was least liked by Jacob mm -hmm. and decided to open her womb so that she could have children. Leah gave Jacob his first four children. All boys. And when Rachel saw she couldn't have any children, she told Jacob, Give me some children or else I'm going to die. Jacob said, My, I'm not in the place of God. I'm not the one who shuts up wounds or opens up wounds. I, I ain't got the power to do that. This ain't none of my doing. This is God's doing. Right. She said, Here, take my handmaid and have children by her for me. She was so desperate to have children, she gave her husband another woman. Come on in the room. <laughs> it showed up desperate right there. Gave her husband another woman. And that woman bore Jacob two sons. When Leah saw what Rachel was doing and that she couldn't have any more children, Leah gave Jacob her handmaid and told him, me some more boys by her. At this point, Jacob got three baby mothers <laughs> and eight children. Come on in the room. Then the Bible read the case unto us and the Lord opened Leah's womb one more time. And she gave Jacob two more sons. After that, he opened Rachel's womb. And she gave him Joseph and Benjamin. Twelve boys, four different moms. You follow what I'm saying? You think your situation's strange. When you get to the point of Jacob, then come sit on my couch. Amen. I've been here. Because you ain't got no problems. They had it way back here. It's something that has occurred between mankind and his seed ever since mankind and his seed arrived on the face of the earth. Uh, that last, next to the last boy that Jacob had, named Joseph, was one of Jacob's favorite children because he was the first boy of the woman that he loved, Rachel. Jacob loved that boy so much that he designed for him a coat of many colors. Leah's children, Bilhah's children, Zilphah's children despised Joseph because their dad showed him more favoritism than the rest of them. Mm -hmm. and, and while they were working in the field, yeah, yeah. Joseph was at home with Dad. With a coat on that his dad had made for him. Daddy told him, son, go out there and see what your brother's doing. They didn't bring me word concerning what they do. Come on in the room. It's almost as if Jacob wanted Joseph to go spy on the boys. Go see what they're up to. Then you come back and tell me 
What they up to? Well, when Joseph was coming to where them boys were, the Bible indicates unto us, they saw him coming afar off and decided that we need to get rid of this dream. And then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. So they threw their own brother into a pit. Took an animal's blood. Dipped the coat in the blood and ripped the coat up into shreds to make it look like a wild animal had gotten hold of Joseph. Took the coat back to their daddy. And asked him, is this the coat of your son? Didn't say we found the coat of our brother. Is this the coat of your son? Jacob cried like a baby. Because he just knew that his son had been devoured by some wild beasts. Those low down dirty dogs of a brother. And threw Joseph in a pit. Sat down around the pit and started eating lunch like they had none. The Bible tells us that they ignored the cries of their brother from the pit. From the pit. One of the older brothers talked to him into not killing. But making some money off of him. So they sold him to the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites sold him into Egypt. And he ended up in Potiphar's house. The only reason why Joseph was in Potiphar's house was because his blood brothers threw him in a pit. You ever felt like the outcast in your family? You ever felt like the rest of them didn't want you around? They have the reunions and they don't even call you to let you know where your reunion is. They having to get together over aunt, over aunt, auntie house and you don't even know that they got together over auntie house. The way you find out, you looking on Facebook and they posting stuff about what a good time they had over auntie house. You're not the first one. This man, Joseph's supper, was snatched away from his dad because of the low down actions of his brothers. Now let's go back to Luke chapter 12. Now let's go back to Luke chapter 12 and beginning at verse number 52. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law gets her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Now you can understand why Jesus said what he said when he said what he said. Matthew chapter 10 and beginning at verse number 21. Remember the words that the Lord said, And the brother shall deliver a brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Verse 36, and a man's foes, a man's enemies, those who are going to be against him are not going to be on the outside. They're going to be on the inside. A man's foes shall be faith of his own household. Yes, In this series, we're going to endeavor to turn this kind of dis.